What should be is your education station. A recent study shows that high school students with disabilities have better academic success when they are in inclusive school settings. New States education reporter Jay Jackson has more on this story. IU researchers said that high schoolers with disabilities who spent 80% of their time in general education classrooms scored high on state assessments and were better prepared for higher education and employment. This has been a decade old or decades old debate about where should we educate students with disabilities. And we feel like we can really definitively say students belong, students with disabilities belong in general education classrooms. This means they would be in the same setting as students without disabilities. Sandy Cole is the lead author on the IU study. She says they came to that conclusion from data gathered from the Department of Education, like graduation rates and I-STEP scores. The study looks at I-STEP scores from 2013 through 2018. They found students with disabilities who spent 80% or more time alongside other peers scored an average of 24.3 points higher in English and 18.4 points higher in math than those in low inclusion settings. High inclusion students were 22% more likely than their peers to graduate with a Core 40 diploma by passing the state assessment rather than receive a waiver. We know that there are social benefits to being educated with their peers in general ed classrooms, but this now validates in our mind the idea that they also academically belong in general education classrooms. Cole hopes school districts will start to reevaluate how they serve students with disabilities. And we also hope that for parents, this gives them a sense of, of urgency to say, my student belongs in a general education classroom and my student will be better off in a general education classroom. Cole also said they may break the study down more specifically for different groups in the future, but they're in the early phases of discussion. In Indianapolis, Jay Jackson for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and you can follow us on Facebook.